What's up everyone, welcome to Auto Shop Rebuild. In today's episode, I'll share with you guys the main issue on the board's HG20 rear end. In my last video on the Bose HG20, I tore down the rear end, that's the hydraulic motor and the rear differential. I took that inside and I had a look at it. Upon draining the oil, I found a whole bunch of chips in the housing of the rear end, so I didn't like that at all. Once I drained it from this oil plug down below on the bottom of the housing, I noticed that all of this came out. And this right here is not a good sight. So this is my hand right here. And you guys can see that's uh, that's quite a bit of metal that was in the rear differential. And I'll share with you guys what this came from. On the table in front of me, I have all the parts laid out which came out of the rear end. We have the central block or housing. We have the right side housing and the left side. I'll start with the left side first. We just have a standard casting which holds the axle. We have a bearing on the side and the most outer point holds a seal. I will be exchanging the seal while I'm already at it. On the inside, we have another bearing. Uh, right here we have a bearing and above we have another bearing. So there's three bearings in line which hold three different things. This bearing holds the axle which you guys see over here. This bearing holds this shaft and this bearing which is the top bearing holds another shaft. These two shafts create the transmission. All these parts that are in the middle are housed inside the central housing. So this is the main area where all the gears are driven. Off to the right, we have another side of the axle housing, three bearings in line once again, which hold the two top shafts. And this bottom bearing holds the right axle. Same setup on this, we have a bearing on the outside and then we have one more seal, which I will be replacing. Now, when I come to the middle, we have our two top shafts, which create the transmission. This bigger gear transmits power to the smaller gear, which is on the same shaft. And this gear transmits power to the bull gear. The bull gear, which I have in front of me is basically like an internal differential. So we have the uh, power coming in on the outside. We have this setup with these two gears, which power the left and the right axle. So the power is transmitted within this major gear. Um, everything is held in place with four bolts. And uh, this is just one unit once it's together. And this is the issue that I have in front of me. We have a bad bull gear, but it's not the gear itself on the outside. The gear is in decent condition. I can't say it's good because uh, chips were wicking up around the gear and obviously creating a couple indents as it was going around. But the main issue is on the inside. And I'll share this view with you guys from the top. Um, these two running gears should be placed inside. And on the main shaft, we have these two cutouts on the shaft which should be placed right inside the bow gear. So it will be placed somewhere in here. But as you guys can see, there's just excess wear and damage, which should not be here. There is major damage on this bow gear on the inside, on this side and on this side. So everywhere where the damage protruded into the hole of the bolt, we have wear on the bolt as well. So this is major damage. I did not feel this when I was driving for some reason. There was no vibration in the rear end whatsoever. Uh, there wasn't even any noise. I just shared with you guys the issue with the bull gear that's down below. Uh, the transmission powers the bull gear and inside of the bull gear I'm having that issue that everything is just chewed up and worn. Uh, that little shaft I can still repurpose, but the bull gear and the two running gears I'd have to replace, and I'm going to find them somewhere online, hopefully. Um, this is all that's left over of the old bull gear, so if anybody wants this, just uh, leave a comment down below. But no, jokes aside, I'm going to have to find a new bull gear, and that may take a while to bring in, 
Uh, I'm not sure if I can even find one or a good one online somewhere. So I'm going to have to see the hydraulic motor and pump. I'm just going to leave it the way it is because everything was working just fine. Uh, I found the issue and I'm glad that I didn't take the hydraulic motor apart because uh, I wouldn't have probably found anything. It was the rear end and it was underneath the transmission. Sometimes you don't know where it's coming from, but best is just to take something apart. Or if you have a little hint like these chips that I found that were coming out of the oil plug, just tear it into this. Um, there weren't any bearings that were damaged within this rear end. I will have to replace a couple new gaskets, but that's the uh, cheapest and the best solution for this rear end of the Bowens HD20. I hope I can get the parts in very soon so we can have a full rebuild on this rear end. I'd like to share that with you guys as well. And then once everything is together, I'll put it back onto the HT20 and we'll have it up and running once again.